Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at five quick and easy selection techniques that you can put to work every day in Adobe Illustrator. We're going to be working with this image and what I want to do is to select this little mirror here. So I have the selection tool selected, I'm just going to click on the mirror. Now we're confronted with a problem because this car is in a group. So is this car and so is this car. So it's difficult to select something that is inside a group. That is, unless you know that there is a tool called the Group Selection Tool. It shares a toolbar position with the Direct Selection Tool. Click on the Group Selection Tool and you can now click on an object within a group and then you can do something with it. For example, we could change its color. Now in this case, what I also want to do is I want to select all these green portions of the car and change those. Well, I'm going to start out again with the group selection tool. I'm going to click on one of these objects. In fact, you'll see that the front end of this car is two individual pieces and there are other pieces of this colored object elsewhere in the document. To select those, I could go and individually select on them, but I could also use a feature built into Adobe Illustrator, and that is the selection option. So I'm going to select, and I'm going to click on Same. And because each of these shapes is filled with the same green color, I'm going to select Fill Color. But you'll see that there are other options that I could select from. What I want Illustrator to do is to select every single piece in this document that has the exact same fill color as the fill color of the piece that I already have selected, which is this green piece here. But I could use fill and stroke or stroke color depending on what I wanted to select. I'll click fill color because that's what I came here to do. And now every single piece on each of those cars that's colored in that green color are now selected. I could delete them as I just did a second ago or I could change their color. Now let's try and do that with this blue color. So again, I've got the group selection tool selected. I'm going to select over the blue color and let's go and choose select same and fill color. Now the problem with this is that one of these cars has a slightly different blue color associated with it. So I'm going to click away from here and I'm going to use a different tool again. And the tool I'm going to use is the magic wand tool. So I'll click on the magic wand tool to target it, but I'm going to double click it as well because there are options that we can set with the magic wand tool. By coincidence, what I need is already selected. It's selected fill color and the tolerance is 32. So what's going to happen is that if I click on a blue area of this car, anything that's pretty close to that blue is going to be selected elsewhere in the document. Now you could choose stroke color, stroke weight, opacity, blending mode, etc. So there are lots of options that you can use with the magic wand tool. You'll have to double click on it to set it up the way you want it to be. Now for me, it's working perfectly. So I'm just going to click away from it. I'm going to this car. I'm going to click on this portion of the car with the magic wand tool. And you'll see now that this time the blue in the middle car has been selected even though it's a different color. We can tell it's a different color because over here the film has a question mark on it. So the combined area that's currently selected does not have a single color fill associated with it. But if we wanted to do something about that, I can just double click on the fill and I can choose a color that is going to be associated with all of these cars now. Now sometimes when you're working on a project like this, you want to be able to select an object within a group. And if you're working in the layers panel, you can select objects from the layers panel. So for example, I could open up this layers panel and locate the mirror of one of these cars. I can click on it here and that will select it. I'm going to select this portion of the exact same car. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and click on it here. Again, that's an, another alternative way of making selections in Illustrator, depending on where you are at the time. Let's just change this to a different color pink. For our final selection tip, we're going to a brand new document and I'm going to make a star. So I'm coming down here to the star tool. I'm just going to drag out a star and position it in the document. Now, in this case, the change I want to make to this star is I want to make changes to these inside anchor points. And to do that, I can select them using the lasso tool. So I'm going to click on the lasso tool. I'm going to drag around a selection that encompasses inside it all of those anchor points, but none of the anchor points at the outside. So if you look carefully, you'll see that each of these inside anchor points is a filled square. The outside ones are hollow. Filled squares are 
selected. So I'm going now to the direct selection tool and that will allow me to move these around. Now if I want to move them all together in a sort of scaled way, I can come across here and go to the scale tool. Now they're all going to be moved relative to each other in a sensible manner. So I can pull them out or pull them in. So there you have it, five handy selection tools that you can put to use every day in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned things about Adobe Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.